Hey folks, today we're going to talk about the Ram ProMaster uh, auxiliary outputs and the upfitter connector. And uh, these outputs are pretty handy. Uh, the auxiliary one can be on no matter if the van is running or turned off, if the key's in the ignition or whatever. It will stay on as long as you leave it enabled. So it'll run off battery power no matter what. Auxiliary 2 will turn off whenever you turn off the van. So if I turn off the van, all those go away. This third one here is for the rear HVAC uh, prep. So if you have the rear AC prep option, uh, you'll have that uh, button on your dash there. It's uh, kind of useless. There's not a whole lot uh, that it really provides other than uh, just a relay driving circuit um, in the upfitter connector. But let's go over to the passenger side B pillar where all of the magic takes place and I'll show you what's going on. So I've already done most of my upfits here uh, for the electrical system, uh, save for maybe some house battery stuff that I want to get to later on, maybe when it warms up a bit. But when you remove this panel right here uh, from the B pillar um, between the slider and the front door, um, you'll get access to your upfitter connectors. And it's just four screws holding that panel on. But this connector is the one that most people talk about when they talk about the upfitter connector. You can see I've already got some stuff attached to it. Um, it's a 15 pin connector and uh, only 14 of these pins are used really. Um, and when I bought this on eBay, uh, they gave me uh, 14 of these metal pins that you can solder onto your wire uh, before inserting them in here so they make a good solid connection. Uh, your other connections available are uh, your upfitter speaker connectors uh, that go to your rear speakers if you want to install speakers in the back. And you've got a 70 amp power connector. And this usually has a plastic cover on it. So if you're wondering how to plug something into it, remove that plastic. And then you can uh, plug a spade lug or something into it like I've done here. Uh, just like this. Um, Maybe you should use something different than a spade lug for 70 amps, but uh, I'm just running a, a really small load on this right now. So, uh, if you're really interested in just the auxiliary buttons, you've got your auxiliary 1 output down here in the bottom corner, and right above it you've got your auxiliary 2 connector. You can see I've got this relay attached, and uh, the input is coming from this fuse panel down here that comes from the 70 amp connection. But uh, the, uh, this is triggered by the uh, rear HVAC. I already have a full-blown rear HVAC system in here, uh, but one of these wires is, uh, provides 12 volts when the key is in the ignition. The other one uh, pulls the 12 volts to ground when you press the rear HVAC button, and so that'll trigger this relay. I don't have it hooked up to anything yet, but I'm sure I'll come up with something cool to hook it up to. For auxiliary one, I went ahead and wired this to a fuse distribution panel. Um, right now the only thing hooked up to it is the Yaesu FTM 400 uh, ham radio that I have on the dash you may have seen in some of my other videos. Um, and that's just going here. I just ran that power cable up and under the uh, passenger foot well and then up into the dash. Um, technically it'd be a straighter line just to go to the battery, but I really wanted to hook it up to the auxiliary uh, buttons anyway. Um, the second fuse panel here, like I said, is tied directly to that 70 amp uh, fused uh, upfitter power connector. And I'm running these two wires to, the, uh, to this 12 volt, so I have an always on 12 volt up near the front of the van, in addition to the one that's in the back of the cargo area. Uh, so I'll reconnect that before I button everything up. My auxiliary 2 is coming to this connector here, which runs over to a uh, set of additional 12-volt uh, outlets. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, I use those additional 12-volt outlets to like charge my quadcopter motors, um, uh, run my laptops, and other things like that. Um, the 70 amp output would be really good for something like an inverter uh, or house batteries, uh, DC to DC charger, or anything heavy duty like that. Anyway, that's how the upfitter connector works on the RAM ProMaster.